August 12th, 2021. 7.57 p.m. There's the moon. Where's that now? Started off here, then here, then here. Now it's here. The sun should still be here, but I just got done doing a short. And the reason I did shorts because I knew I wasn't going to be able to catch the sunset. I had other things I had to button up. But it is. Let's see if I can grab it. It's right over there. So, yeah. Get right there. I'm going to do the sky view around. This garbage came out of nowhere within the past three hours. Oh, there's a big old orange glow that way to the southwest. So there's going to be smoked out sunset and then the moon. Let's see. Got some wave action jumping off still. Still got the waves going on. Where that pointy tall palm pine tree is. Back in 2008, 2008, that was due north on my compass. Those little trees over there now are due north. I don't know if the pole is shifting, because I haven't had a chance to go down underground and see for myself. LOL. Just a humorous rancher joke. So, let's take a look at this. There we go. Believe it or not, I am getting better at this. Even though I'm not the best. There we go. A few still shots. Dim this down a little bit. No, it looks better, just normal. Fine tune it. Tighten this down. Swivel. Let it roll for a few minutes and we're going to call it. No birds. They just fly in and out. They're not even talking to each other, they don't even make a noise. It's kind of weird. in just a little bit more. I'm trying my best, but it's not. Let me just give this just a movement right here. Come on, baby. Give me just one good focus. Looks pretty good. It's all right, there it is. Stop messing with it so much. I think I got it now. Dimmed it down just a hair and adjusted it to fine tune. time lapse. Oh, wait a minute. I can see the little LCD screen from here. Never mind. We're still golden on the time lapse. Yeah. Here we go again. This is normalcy. This is this was the same thing. If you guys check, look for the dates. September, the beginning of September 2020, last year on my channel. You will see my harvest part one, two, and three, and you will see how the skies were pretty much the same, and you can see the sun was orange all day long. Yep. 
Yep, it's time for the nuts to go. I can hear them. They're literally just falling. It's not like somebody throwing rocks in my orchard, but it's not. It's the almonds are falling. I believe the 19th or the 20th, between the 19th and the 23rd is when I'm going to get that shaker in. I've been talking to the guy. I'm hoping. My fingers are crossed. And I'm hoping they fall off really well. That makes less for me have to go in by hand manually and take the rest of them off. Every nut this year is going to count because the price is so low per pound. Farmer didn't get the good end of the stick this year. Water-wise and price-wise for a pound. Last year was the record high. That's why everybody got into the game. So now so many people in the game, there's so much supply, not enough demand. So they're offering everybody a little bit so they can keep everybody, give everybody a little piece of the pie. So the slices of the pie got smaller this year. And the bigger ranchers get more because they supply more weight. They have contracts just like I do. So it is what it is. No biggie. That's the name of the game. That's what happens. It could have been this. It could have been alfalfa I could have put out here instead of trees and I still would have got the same thing, you know. Everybody's growing alfalfa around here in the smaller fields, so I'd have to compete with them as well. And there's really nothing that's worth more, much more money. Cherry trees next door, they only picked half of them. The rest of them, they just left them, let them fall off. They just wanted the fat, ripe ones, and they got paid top dollar, and they shipped them out of state. I believe they shipped them up to Oregon. Oregon or Washington got them this year. It is what it is. Everybody's got to make a buck to live, I guess. I just want to just get rid of it, pay my dues, live on whatever I can left for the next year. And if I can't, I'll make it stretch one way or another. I'll get my almonds to eat this year and next year. We're still eating on last year's almonds. It's awesome. I love it when my wife calls me in there. She's like, would you like some roasted almonds in the oven? I'm like, oh, heck yeah. And now I can see the afterglow where the sun already set. I'll get that here in just a second. And I can't see Venus. Oh, yeah, I can. Let's see if I can get it. It's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Got it. Here we go. Pull this over here. This is where I'm going to put the, on the left side, I'm going to put the screenshot of the star map. All right. Let's get a quick visual of where it went down. There's where it went down. I usually see it a little bit better because I'm on the upside, but there's your glow with the sunset, Mount Diablo. That's the other smaller one. Or no, that's Mount Diablo, my bad. So there you go. Helicopter. Right above it is Venus, right there. There's your moon. And that will do it. Peace out.